Hey guys, thanks for coming to the Now You Know channel. Today we want to talk about some of the latest developments in AI and how they will affect our lives. We're living through an era where technology is advancing faster than ever before, but many people don't know what's coming next for them or their families. Prepare yourself because these changes may be coming sooner rather than later. In no particular order, here is our five emerging technologies in artificial technologies. Number 1. Machine Learning Machine learning is the most recent form of artificial intelligence that provides systems with the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience without any sort of explicit programming. Machine learning focuses on developing computer programs that can access data and use it to learn for themselves, which has become a major part in today's society. The process is so popular because it requires less human input, the machine will create its own rules as long as there are plenty of examples to work off of. This also eliminates many imperfections found in humans. Machine learning has proven incredibly successful at automating many tasks such as getting machines to recognize faces or play chess, but we're still not sure where exactly this technology will go next. Number 2. Deep Learning Deep learning is an artificial intelligence AI, function that imitates the workings of the human brain in processing data and creating patterns for use in decision making. It fuses together multiple levels of information from raw data to create a hierarchical structure, mimicking how our minds work. While deep learning is often associated with AI, it's important to note that neural networks have been around since at least the 1950s, well before computers were commonplace. The difference now is that we're able to collect huge amounts of information more efficiently than ever before and feed them into machines capable of analyzing all this input using these complex algorithms which are capable of modeling how humans learn new things and make decisions based on what they know and see. Number 3. Reinforcement Learning Reinforcement learning is an area of machine learning that helps machines and software find the best possible behavior or path they should take in a specific situation. It does this by taking suitable action to maximize reward in any given situation. For example, a self-driving car may use reinforcement learning to make decisions about where it can safely drive on the road, based on what other cars are doing in order to get home quickly without causing accidents. Reinforcement learning is one of many methods used for artificial intelligence today. Number 4. Natural Language Processing NLP. A computer can understand the meanings of sentences and phrases just like us humans. All it takes is a computer to read and process language through natural language processing, which means that one day, our computers may be able to communicate with us as well. Natural language processing involves the reading and understanding of spoken or written language through the medium of a computer. With this skill, computers learn to accurately manage and apply overall linguistic meaning to text excerpts like phrases or sentences. The most basic example is how we all have an idea about what words mean based on their context in a sentence. Through natural language processing, computers are able to learn this too eventually allowing them to communicate with us as well. Number 5. Computer Vision CV. Not to be confused with the electric eye that can see in light, computer vision is a special type of artificial intelligence that trains computers to interpret and understand the visual world. Employing digital images from cameras and videos and deep learning models, machines accurately identify and classify objects and then react accordingly. Artificial intelligence is a new concept in the world of technology and as history has shown, it brings with it both good and bad. The potential for continued technological growth is huge, but also requires that humans are still connected to each other, which can only happen if we have empathy towards one another. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.